Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Just a little housekeeping before we get started this week. I'll be attending a training course that'll take me away from this chair until the beginning of August. Mead Week is a bit of a video archive with more than 200 episodes in its current format. But just because I'm gone doesn't mean we can't keep the archive going. We can do this through the summer if you submit your videos from Memorial Day, the 4th of July, summer sports, or just about anything going on in post. We'll get it aired on Facebook and our YouTube channel. All right, our housekeeping done. Our top story this week is an invitation to the Garrison's annual Safety, Health, Wellness, and Resiliency Expo. It's coming up Thursday, May 22nd from 10 to 1 at the Fort Meade Pavilion. Dozens of organizations and vendors will be on hand, all in an effort to promote community safety and wellness. As always, the Safety Expo is open to everyone and it's free of charge. For more information, you can contact the Garrison Safety Office at 301-677-4231. Elsewhere, starting next Wednesday, May 21st, and every Wednesday through November 12th, MWR is hosting a farmer's market. The market will be set up on the Smallwood Hall parking lot that's across the street from the McLaughlin Parade Field. MWR says the market will feature locally grown fruit, vegetables, flowers, breads, and much more. Once again, the MWR Farmer's Market runs every Wednesday from May 21st through November 12th. You can visit www.ftmeetmwr.com for more information. In more wellness news, the Veterans Administration is now offering an e-benefits premium account. This allows service members, veterans, and family members access to over 50 VA and DOD self-service features. Here's more from the VA. Welcome to VA and DOD's e-benefits web portal. The following video will walk you through the step-by-step -step process for obtaining a DOD self-service logon, also known as a DS logon, which allows you to get free premium e-benefits access. A DS logon is a secure identity, username and password, that is used by various DOD and VA websites, including e-benefits. If you are already registered in the Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System, known as DEERS, you are eligible for a DS logon. Once you have a DS logon, it is your permanent logon ID in providing identity authentication. How can you obtain a DS logon? By registering for an eBenefits account. When registering for an account, you will be asked a series of questions to assist you in obtaining a DS logon level 2 eBenefits premium account and to verify your identity. With a premium account, you can view personal data about yourself in VA and DOD systems, apply for benefits online, check the status of your claims, update your address records, and more. To see the video in its entirety, you can go to www.ebenefits.va.gov. Meanwhile, the Garrison's Directorate of Human Resources is sponsoring a blood drive on June 4th at the McGill Training Center. It's easy to donate. You can make your appointment now online at the Armed Services Blood Program. Just go to www.militaryblood.dod.mil and follow the instructions. Once again, our next blood drive is June 4th, starting at 9 a.m. at the McGill Training Center. In other news, as we reported earlier this year, the Defense Information School, or DINFOS, is celebrating its 50th anniversary in 2014 with a series of events throughout the year. Coming up on June 14th, DINFOS is sponsoring a 5K run in honor of those fallen, public affairs, visual information, and comrades in arms. You can sign up online by going to www.allsportscentral.com and searching for Defense Information School. Once again, the DINFOS 50th anniversary run is June 14th. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. As I mentioned at the top, this is the last show until mid-August. I hope everyone has a fantastic summer. And until sometime in August, have a great weekend and a great Mead summer. All of us are proud to represent and support the most respected institution in American life, the United States military. The respect our military has earned is built on the character of our people, military and civilian alike. It must never be taken for granted. And that's why we must rekindle within the force both our understanding and our resolve as a profession. We must strengthen the enduring norms and values that define us and continue to be a source of trust and pride for our nation. Together, we must step up to this challenge. We will continue to count on your leadership, and we will always be grateful for your service. Thank you.